Hey, it's Anthony from OQPlay.com, and today we're checking out a new title that's releasing very soon, if not out already, uh, and that is Cubism. So this is a puzzle game for the Oculus Quest. Um, it was originally on side quest uh, for a while, and um, now it's released fully on the Oculus Store. All right, so this would be my first playthrough. Um, and let's get cracking. So let's tri squeeze both triggers to start. So this is basically a kind of Tetris style puzzle game, quite calming. It's definitely seated experience. I'm standing right now, but I don't have to move about a lot. Um, I can I can pretty much sit here and play with these cubes, um, uh, and uh, I won't have to travel around the room too much. So that's a good plus if you're looking for a seated experience game. And there's not many puzzle games either on the Quest, so this is a nice refreshing change um, to experience that. And basically, you've got a void or a cube, um, and you have to basically fill that void with the pieces that are around around you. So, just going to play through, see how easy these little puzzles are. These are all very Tetris-like um, pieces, which is quite cool. Um, and. Uh, Pretty straightforward. Obviously, the first part of the game is going to be pretty straightforward. Presentation is really nice. It's very calming. It'd be nice if all these pieces kind of faced you. You wouldn't have to like turn them like this. Um, okay. And unlike Tetris, where you only, you get this piece, or you kind of get the opposite, don't you? Um, it's a nice touch that you can rotate them in 3D space. Oh, this is a bit more tricky. So. Some calming music to calm you down. <laughs> In case you're feeling a little bit stressed of the task at hand. Let's try this. Okay. So. Cool. A lot of uh, puzzles. Um, it's definitely going to keep you busy for a little while. All right, how's that? Oh, okay. So that's good as well. So you can manipulate this with your hands if you wanted to, which is quite cool. Place it where you want. Take it, this is the menu. No, I don't want to do that. Let's go back. So we're now into the, the normal range. These are locked. Got quite a few pieces in them. All right, back to this. We've unlocked a new stage. Okay, let's just finish this one first. Let's 
Okay, plausible. Mm. Oh, this is a lot more tricky. Right, so I reckon. And obviously this isn't really going to push the quest either, so that's, that's an advantage in terms of... Um, in terms of it looking just like as you'd expect on the quest. No, it's not going to work either. Hmm, okay, so that's probably there. This needs to turn. See, the, the music's anticipating my final move. That's cool. So you kind of get a little hint if, um, if you're getting close to solving the puzzle, because the music will change. I think it's just a case of just trial and error, in a way, a lot of these things. Um, Had it, we've got it. The penny has finally dropped. Good. <laughs> got there in the end. All right, stage two. So there's easy normals in each. So that's obviously good because that lets you. Well, we're going a bit more 3D now. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? I've got to fill the volume somehow. So obviously it's that way. And then that is that way. No. That. That's cool. Oops. So it looks like you need, so we need to reach unlock 10 for this one, we need to unlock 14, and there's basically seven puzzles in each stage, basically. So if you're any good with your seven times tables, you'll know how many that is. I'm not even going to go there. Um, that is going to have to look like that, I think. a lot more and more tricky oh okay than normal It's going to be a bit smart there and get it in one go. Oh, 
this game really does make you have a, a moment that you're you're going a bit thick of doing it basically. A lot of these are gonna intertwine. So the music's like saying, Oh, you're nearly there, you're nearly done, Anthony, but I need to reverse this, but that's not going to work. Yes. Yes. Finally. Right. This looks tricky. Right. This can only go one way. I'm gonna try and win that. Yes. It's more tricky when you get more pieces. Way more tricky. Wow, okay, this is gonna only gonna go one way, so let's try that. Right in there. That's definitely the way to go. This. Maybe these are meant to go. No. So this, the controls are great. Very intuitive. Oh, crap. Let's take those out. Um, and the puzzle solving elements are on point. Let's So sometimes you do need to pick these things up. All right, so this is going to be frustrating. All right, I think we need to start with this piece. Nothing that's square that's gonna fill this void, so that is not how it's meant to work, I reckon. Yes. Right, that's stage two done. I won't go through it all. I'll just try one more easy. And then, dare I say it, one more hard, but we'll see. Okay, not many pieces here. Right. 
Right, let's just try hard, see how hard is hard. Alright, similar to the puzzle before. something then. Oops. Like with that. That is definitely not a piece that works. Is it? No. <laughs> oh no. That's a shame. At least it should tell me am I close? Oh that's sticking out as well. That's definitely not gonna work. This is definitely like that. And it's just down to how this is put together. So this bit this is a bit of an unknown. Because that's not possible. Subtle hint there that you've just done it wrong. Yes, gosh, got there in the end. Cool. All right, so we've unlocked up to five stages. Basically, as you further go along, things start to get more harder than easy, I'm assuming. And, um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of nice little puzzles here. It's definitely going to tax your brain. So there's some longevity here, and it's all very calming. And I'm sure the developer might add more packs as we come along and new features just to play with our minds a little bit. Cool. All right. I think I'll leave it there for now. Hope this has been helpful. Let's just have a look at the settings. Floor grid. Okay, she. Ah, oh, that's nice. Everyone loves a dark mode. Last easy one in dark mode. Cool. Awesome. All right, that's our look at Cubism on the Oculus Quest. And um, look out for our full review on okplay.com and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.